Well, good morning. It is um, 7.30 Sunday morning. Today was going to be paint day, but the weather forecast has changed and it says now that there is a 50% chance of rain going to hit around 11 a.m. to noon. <clears throat> so that kind of means I will not be painting. I kind of need four to six hours to lay the paint down. So I guess what it means is that Today, I'm gonna to just do an, some extra prep work, which is, you know, not a bad thing. Um, so I will be going probably uh, and sanding the hood with 400, even though I don't think it needs it, but I've got the time. And I'll be doing little touch-up work um, around it where I got overspray a little bit on the bumper. A couple spots here, like where when I mask it, because I don't need to worry about any of this anymore. <clears throat> um, where I nicked the other, Right there, I'll get that. If you can see it, I'm not sure what this camera's looking at. Right there, so I'm gonna get that right there. Uh, I suppose I can probably put the bumper back together. I don't know, probably not though. All right, nick the bumper down there. I'll do that. Um, and then just kind of clean it up, make sure it's ready to go. Kind of a disappointment but what are you gonna do it's florida rains all the time um, we're not quite in the dry season yet <clears throat> i guess but uh i think the dry season's gonna hit right after i finish but tomorrow i may actually try to get some time off because tomorrow's gonna be like what today was supposed to be 80 degrees and uh sunny and dry Today, you can see it is not dry weather. And I want that hood to look perfect. So, uh, you know, one thing I can do too is now that I think about it, I can mask it up. Uh, I can do a lot of the masking work. And that'll mean that tomorrow, I'll just uh, wipe it down, roll it out into the sun and hit it. Um, so yeah, maybe I can get it done in four hours. So I'm gonna get to work. Um, unfortunately, it's not the paint day, but it's prep work. Oh, and let's see. So grill, grill and things came out looks good now we're looking at it in daylight and uh looks pretty good now our badge under the box be very careful still came out pretty good no, oh, that some sense did get a couple of things walked on it i guess they went under it and walked on it that's not a big deal because that's pretty easy to recover I just gotta either wipe all the paint off or let it dry. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I'm gonna get to work touching up and masking and hopefully uh, hopefully soon it will be finished. My last quick project of the day is um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take all this broken plastic off this thing and just paint it so I can put it back on or maybe even trim it down to just this one piece on the back there because I really don't need it. It's uh, the old analog on star so it wouldn't work anyway. So all I'm doing is if you can see this I'm just unscrewing plastic from it um, rather than just crushing it or something. Just grab a piece and break it and unscrew it. That'll be my last project of the day. Take this off and paint it because it's it's about to you got lightning coming. It's about to uh, come down. So um, maybe I'll be back this afternoon doing some masking or something but as of now, it looks like the weather is saying, nope, you're done for the day. And it is only quarter after nine. I will talk to you. Take care, everyone. All right, that's all painted. I put it on quite heavy. I don't care if it runs a little bit. I wanna make sure it's really well coated because it, it, it's exposed. It's exposed. That's it. I just put a little thing in the in there to hold it and just sp spray it around it outside of course not not here take care everyone well still sunday the sun came back out so i got a lot more prep work done um it's mostly masked up i got this I use 500 grit on it it is smooth it's real smooth um i'm hoping it's going to come out great with the uh hammered I mean that the roof came out good and the hammered it wasn't anywhere near that smooth but I've got it mostly masked up um I use this stuff on the recently painted well recently in the last two weeks um 
it's called frog tape and it sticks considerably less than the blue but it looks like I'm about ready I'm not gonna hit it today I don't have time and uh, I tell you one thing I learned a lot about Microsoft with my Microsoft paperwork my big book of Microsoft paper but that's it so take care everyone have a good day all right it is paint day um, getting a little bit of a later start it's about noontime We're right in the Sun I'll be able to see what I'm doing uh, it's gonna heat it up it's about 80 degrees today um, we're ready to go. I'm just going to finish masking. I got to do the bumpers, the windshield, the side windows, because I just had to pull it here. Too much paint. I'm not going to paint it under the carport because um, that's where the mosquitoes like to hang out and they'll come. And one thing I won't have to worry about is bugs. So here she is, ready to go. I'm going to finish up the masking and then we're going to get the first coat on. I'll see you soon. Okay, we're masked. It's paint time. <clears throat> I'll be washing with acetone as I move down each body piece. Um, but interestingly enough, I found two more rust, rust spots. So in the process, I'll be taking a break to kind of take care of sanding those down. Um, I had to fill one pretty deep, but that'll be dry by the time I'm even painted the hood. I should be able to sand it and prime it pretty quick. But, uh, yep, we are ready to go. I'm gonna get my paint sh shield. Yep, so when I do the top, I don't get overspray on the roof. Not that I'm particularly worried about that anyway. But, uh, got my paint sprayer, breather. I'll be using a breather. My guess, if the roof took eight cans, the hood will be four. Uh, I got enough, I got 12 cans. So, and I got two or three older cans. That I'll be holding in reserve but let's get to it so unfortunately my respirator was too filthy to use and I don't have time to clean it uh, I guess it's been a few months since I used it and a lot of dust in the garage so I'm double masking this should hopefully be fine Again, very light coats. If we do heavy, we're going to end up with uh, the hammered finish, which we do not want. Well, as I say all the time, in Florida, when you start painting, a breeze will come up. Feels great, a lot cooler, but uh, it's starting to get breezy. I think it's gonna come out good. Go ahead. Don't let me pause it. No, let me just pause this. Okay, that's two cans. Um, it's coating. I've had a few bugs land on it, but it's. I think it's definitely gonna take a full four cans on the hood. But again, the uneven finish that you're seeing will level out as it dries. But let's keep going. I don't know if you can see that, but I got. I don't know, some debris just landed right on the hood. I gotta try to get that off. Um, luckily this is hammered paint. Not a big deal if I can get it off without wrecking anything. That is about 
four cans, the hood and the front fenders. I'm, I'm gonna probably use one more can because I'm not emptying the cans because I don't want it to spray on the hood or spit. I'll save that for the lower body panels down there. I'm probably gonna hit one more can and that'll be it for the hood. Um, it, it actually looks very good, very, very good. Um, if you're experienced with this paint. If you're not, you've probably seen it's all wavy and all that, but it'll look very different tomorrow. All right, back to it. Okay, uh, hood is done. A couple of bugs and stuff, very minor. Um, up close, you can see the gloss is coming out. Front fenders are done. I gotta go fix that body, the rot hole in the back. I don't wanna get near the rest of the body. And I gotta wipe the rest of it down. Quick, quick wash of acetone. And then uh, hopefully get the rest of it. I ended up using uh, um, five cans, which actually on the hood and the front fenders isn't bad. But it's looking good. It's looking good. I can't wait to see what it looks like once the paint really settles out. And anywhere I don't really like, I can, I can uh, probably wet sand it in a few weeks and just hit it again. But I think it's gonna look fine. All right, I'll be back. This is uh, pretty weak. Um, I filled it, but I found another. Look at that weak spot. Uh, I don't know. Um, I might do my little JB weld trick and just push some of that on and let it harden, let it hold it together. Because it's too weak as it is, it's coming through already. So yeah, let me take care of that right now. Just one more other step. So yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm in paint mode and I got a problem here with this. Uh, it's weak. So, those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, my little JB Weld trick for this is I actually cram that into the what's there and uh, it'll hold it. It'll actually make a good patch. I don't have time for a lot of the crap right now. I just want to stuff it and firm that patch up. Probably not enough, but it'll work. It'll hold it, and uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Who knows? It's tough to say. But it can't, can't do any harm, that's for sure. My only worry is, i got to mix up some more. Will it dry in time? Uh, enough for me to sand and paint and if not no big deal I'll get it later it's lower rear quarter which you know as I said northern vehicle it can rust if you don't use JB weld I'll show you it's equal parts of the black tube and the red tube um, can you see that I can't really see and then just mix it in, stir it together till it turns that gray color, and then voila, put it on. I'm putting it on extra thick um, on purpose. Put a little there too. It's got a lot of rot on it, what are you gonna say? Not much I can do about that. It actually makes fairly good. They used to have this product, I don't know if they still make it, called Red Lead. That's what you do with the, over the little divots. It'll sand. Alright, time to move on to more painting. I gotta, I'm gonna go the other side, acetone it down, and then uh, get on the rest of it. And we're back. Um, this is considerably easier than the hood. 
It'll go a lot quicker. I don't have to worry so much about how I hold the can or anything like that. The cardboard's up there just so I don't get a lot of overspray on the roof. The roof finish looks good. I, I don't want to tarnish it up. Yeah. Oh, dude. And then right on my freaking door. Oh, jeez. Don't know what kind of bug that was, but he sucks, whoever he was. But we'll get to see how accommodating this paint can be. Because it's just going to disappear, except for that little piece of his leg that's still there. Oh, with these? Always make sure that it's spraying direct center of this. If not, it'll spit all over. All right, I'm gonna pause it and I'll be back. Okay, one side done. Uh, moving on to the other side. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that bottom piece. Uh, because I don't think that JB Weld will be dry enough in time for me to sand. That's okay. There's a good defining body line here. I can paint around it in a few hours. But I'm going to get these doors in this other quarter done. And uh, I got enough paint. It's about a can per door. And I think I still got four or five cans. Yeah, I've got four cans right there. And I think one or two in the garage. So we'll be good. Back at it. Oh, and also, the hood is starting to even out a little bit. We'll look at it again in a few days, but it's got a nice gloss. Nice gloss. Hey, there we go. 12 cans. Uh, hood is even and off. Beautiful. Uh, whole thing's done, except for that one spot where I had to do body work. Um, I noticed on this side, we're near the street. Every time a car went by, I kicked up some debris. That bug, he left a mess. So I'm gonna have to lightly sand that. He obviously had gotten me, because when I killed him, I got blood all over the car too. I don't know what he was, so he didn't look like a mosquito. But um, it's good. It's, it's actually really nice. A lot of paint, a lot more than I expected. I think I've been through, at this point, 23 cans to do it, but I spared no expense. I want a thick coat. Um, I don't want it to wear off. Uh, that's the one spot I've got to do. I've got a whole can for that. Uh, I'm going to leave it masked. I'll give the JB Weld a little bit more time to dry and then get back to work for a few hours. My real job. And then hit it back. But I did pretty good. I didn't get a lot of the hammered. Occasionally I did. But if you do this and you go too heavy and the hammered texture comes out, wait a couple minutes and then go over it really lightly and it, it hides it. Um, it, it's a great paint for this type of stuff and like I said that bug on the other side. I'll just uh, Sand it a little bit and hit it in a week give it a full week to dry before you screw with it if you don't You'll pay for it um, But geez what a difference what a difference and I'm not done yet. I've got a lot of ideas for how to fix it uh, make it look like a much sharper vehicle now that I know the paint's going to look nice. And it does. It looks really nice. Hopefully I didn't get a lot of overspray on the roof. Hopefully. But if I did, it's the roof. The uh, I left the roof dusty, so the paint will just hopefully just sit on the dust. So I'm going to do the wheels. Probably black. I wish I'd get the center caps off, but they've been on there for 10 years, so they're probably all those bolts will just snap. Um, but it's good. I'm going to let it sit. 
and you'd be surprised in a few hours it's going to look completely different the paint's going to really settle out but it's a nice color i'm very happy with it um, i'll be back one hour in um, as i said it's going to take days for it to settle but one hour in it's uh settling out nice and remember there's five cans on that hood and this stuff takes really three weeks to fully cure but probably by tomorrow i think it's going to look mostly done um, i was able to sand that the jb well dried sand it and paint it so that's sealed it's actually quite strong i was pushing on it it's quite strong i don't know when i try to take that masking tape off there's probably jb weld stuck to it <coughs> um, this side is a little more dry and you can see how much more even the finish is getting it's as you go as you go it'll it's it's just going to take a few days um, but it's good this is a little rough there but as i said it's not dry not even close not even close it'll take a week but we'll see i'm going to give it another shot it's getting late about uh five o'clock so it's only been an hour since i finished um We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I think tomorrow's gonna to be a very different experience. I hope so. Um, I know the roof and the tailgate smoothed out perfectly like they're supposed to. Hopefully this will as well. Have a good night, everyone. We'll see you at some point tomorrow, very briefly, because I'm working all day, but I'll, I'll go out at lunch and uh, get a shot at it. I really don't even wanna close the doors or anything. I don't wanna to touch anything, but I'm gonna to have to. I gotta lock it up. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, it's been about 20 to 22 hours since I painted it. Uh, it the finish is starting to settle really nice, uh, it, but it looks like it's gonna rain. So I had to move it. I moved it under the carport, but it's dry enough. No bugs or anything are gonna affect it. Let's take a look. Uh, the finish is settling out. Not as many lines or, or uh, brush strokes on it anymore. It's got a nice texture to it that you can feel, and it's also got a nice gloss, which is hard to capture on camera unless you're close. See the bugs landing on it? That is why I did not paint under the carport. <clears throat> um, overall, though, it looks good. I don't wanna screw with it. Um, I'm gonna give it at least two or three days before I even take the masking tape off, because I wanna see how it completely settles out. There's a couple spots like here that I might kind of go over again in a week or two after it's really ready. But I don't want to touch it before then. A couple places where I was a little inaccurate with the can. I've got a bug mark on the door I'll get rid of. Um, but let's look, now look at the tailgate and see this is two weeks old. And so you can see there's a, just a difference. It's much more uniform. There's no lines, there's no streaks. It does take time to settle out. So that's about it. For today and i'm probably not going to do much with it at all until the weekend i just want to let it sit i'll work on little things i'm going to polish the headlights and things like that get them ready to go in <clears throat> and that's about it take care everyone so it's been three days since i've painted it um, day three is usually the day that the paint kind of levels off uh, when I did the roof and I did the rear hatch, day one and two, it looked okay, but it hadn't really fully settled in yet. Um, I won't do anything with it until it's been at least six to seven days. But at this point, you can really see what it's going to look like. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think you're going to like it. So let's, uh, let's take a look. So tough to describe i don't know what it looks like on camera versus what i'm seeing it looks very much like uh, aircraft aluminum it's the color of like a delorean almost that stainless color but the deloreans had that brushed stainless kind of look to them and this is different this this is there's a slight hammered texture in some places it's a little heavier ironically where i used the fillable primer to kind of help things it did the opposite it actually made the texture more rough um, and that's the only thing I'm thinking maybe this weekend I'll wet sand those areas 
Uh, if it's been seven days, I can hit them again with a little bit more. I still have almost a full can of the gray left, so I can easily hit them again. But overall, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, about the only painting I'm going to do in this beautiful 65 sunny low humidity weather that we're having today um, is I put a couple more coats of black on this cap here. I put this on 10 years ago because the filler cover actually had a huge crease in it. It had been hit by something before I bought it. And so I just, rather than replace it, I just put that thing on it. But I may look for one. I mean, I may just replace it and just, just put get rid of that stupid thing. It was just there to hide a dent when this thing looked like a, a much nicer. It was, it was 10 years newer and the paint was still pretty good. But overall, I'm very happy with it. I hope you are too. This opens up a lot of possibilities because it came out uh, so nice that now I'm thinking, what else can I do? Because now it's not just gonna look like I put $300 into preserving it. It really looks neat. So it's like, well, do I put a few hundred dollars more into it? And uh, so add in the comments what you think I should do. There's a lot I can do. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a lot of thought into it. I will be doing an interior cleanup and refresh. I've got some ideas for that. It's of course a different budget. And I will be doing a complete budget of what this actually cost very soon. I'll be in touch. I hope you're all having a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Here it is a little higher up. Uh, there's a lot of dust on the roof because I actually painted the roof uh, three to four weeks ago. I don't remember, three weeks ago, I guess. But look at that, what a difference.